So you're thinking about visiting or moving to South Kingstown, Rhode Island? Well, in today's video, my team and I are gonna cover the pros and cons of what life would be like in South Kingstown, Rhode Island. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about living in Rhode Island, subscribe below, tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Rhode Island. My name is Devin and my team and I, we get calls and texts every single day from people just like you, you and you and you and you and you, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make a smooth transition here to the Ocean State. Let's jump into the pros. Pro number one is its beautiful scenery. South Kingstown is known for its picturesque landscapes, including scenic beaches, ponds, and lush greenery. It offers plenty of outdoor activities and natural beauty. Pro number two is its proximity to the ocean. If you love the ocean, South Kingstown's coastal location provides easy access to some stunning beaches like East Matunic State Beach and Green Hill Beach. Pro number three is its education system. South Kingstown is home to the University of Rhode Island, which is a reputable institution and provides educational and cultural opportunities to the community. Also, South Kingstown consistently ranks for having some of the top public and private schools in the state of Rhode Island. Pro number four is the outdoor activities. Not only does the town have beautiful scenery, but offers a wide range of outdoor activities, including hiking, biking, boating, fishing, beach going, outdoor sports, and so much more. Pro number five is its accessibility. From South Kingstown, it's easy to get to many other areas in Rhode Island, but also major cities in the Northeast. You have access to Route 1, which connects to other major highways in the state, making it very convenient, but also the town features Kingston Station, which has Amtrak trains connecting you to Boston, New York, and Washington, DC. Now that we've covered the pros, let's jump into the cons. Con number one is its cost of living. Rhode Island in general has a higher cost of living compared to many other states in the US. South Kingstown has relatively high property taxes and housing costs. Con number two is its cold weather. Rhode Island experiences all four seasons and the winters can be cold and snowy, which may not be appealing to everyone. Con number three is its traffic. During peak tourist seasons, especially in the summer, traffic can be a concern in South Kingstown due to its popular beach destinations. But you also have traffic throughout other parts of the year due to the large student population at the University of Rhode Island. Con number four is student rentals. Now, a lot of the students at URI look for housing in Narragansett. However, you may find yourself next to a student rental in South Kingstown as well, which may not be as appealing if you're looking for peace and quiet. Con number five is its lack of diversity. South Kingstown may have less cultural and ethnic diversity compared to larger cities. This can be a drawback for individuals seeking a more diverse environment. Ultimately, whether South Kingstown is a good fit for you will depend on your individual preferences and priorities. It's essential to consider these pros and cons in the context of your personal situation and what you value most in a place to live. If you're looking for more information about South Kingstown or any other areas in Rhode Island, all of my contact information is in the description below.